What's up everybody? This is Eric Reed Harry and today I want to go over some different foaming agents and what it actually costs you to produce foam from the different foaming agents. So we're going to start off here on my left. On the left we have uh, Dawn because I don't have a bottle of 7th generation but 7th generation and Dawn are the same to me. They're both disc detergents and they both uh, pale in comparison to some of the other products I have on the table here. So the seventh generation, if we look here, is $2.99 for this 25 ounce bottle of uh, seventh generation dish soap. So from my testing, what I found is to get the performance that I get from using the Drexel foaming agency, I need to use a whole bottle uh, of this 25 ounces in a five gallon bucket to give me the density of the Drexel, but still doesn't have the longer lasting effects of the Drexel. If you look at a previous video I did, the 7th generation and Dawn, um, they collapse after about an hour. Their bubbles collapse, so they're not very good. So, again, for the 7th generation, for this size, uh, 25 ounce, we're looking at $3 to make one 5-gallon bucket to produce um, foam. You can produce about 100 gallons of foam with that. Now our next product is very good um, out of all the different uh, products you hear, I have here. This is a, a very good product to use for making foam. Now from the test that I've done with this, I used half of this bottle in a five gallon bucket to produce foam that was very very good and from what I'm told if I double the amount if I use the whole bottle and one five gallon bucket I would have the equivalent density and um, long-lasting foam as the Drexel so the Schwab here is a dollar eighty nine per bottle and so for my testing I would need one bottle, one bottle for a five gallon bucket. Uh, and this is a 30 ounce bottle for a dollar eighty nine price. And uh, this may be Target. Yes, this is a Target that I looked it up. So this is the cheapest I was able to find it online. I know this bottle in the stores, some of the stores in my local area go for over two dollars, just under three dollars a bottle. So if you're doing small projects, like a lot of people are, this is pretty good. This is probably one of your better choices you're going to get for the price. So next we have something else I was testing out. Sodium, wait a minute, let's get this on camera. Sodium lauryl sulfatiates. Yeah, okay. S-L-S-A for short. And um, this is actually the main ingredient in in this bottle here. Let's see if this is focusing. So yeah, here's your sodium lauryl sulfate. And um, so that's the main ingredient. This is what actually makes your bubbles, your foam. And so I bought a bag of this. This is a one pound bag and there are actually two different prices I found on Amazon. This first one is $8.21 for one pound bag and um, what I've uh, when I tested this it turns out I need 20 tablespoons per five gallon bucket to produce foam um, almost equal to the Drexel. 
uh, very good density foam, uh, and fairly long lasting. So this product by itself worked really good. And if you are adding any additives in your cement aircrete to help set it quicker, this is actually a, a really good product because of what I have underlined here. Food grade. So that's a good thing. So this is a safe product to use, um, as well as the shampoo, obviously. You use the shampoo, so this is safe. So I'm mentioning that for a reason. Now, um, with this one pound bag, which is, um, I calculated, I can make eight five gallon buckets with one pound of, uh, of this sodium sulfate. So it uh, comes out to a dollar two cents per five gallons. So price wise, this is very good. Now, I also found on Amazon the same uh, one pound bag for $19.79. So it depends where you buy it. And if you bought it for that price, you'll end up paying $2.47 per five gallon bucket. So obviously, you know, we're all going for the lower price one. And lastly, we have the Drexel, which has been number one foaming agent for making aircrete, uh, in my humble opinion. So this cover shows you here, foam uh, FM 160. The 160 means you can make 160 gallons from one gallon of Drexel. So to make a five gallon bucket using Drexel uh, to get the foam that I get, which is very good stable foam, um, requires four ounces only. So there's 128 ounces in a gallon divided by four gives you divided by four ounces gives me 32 five gallon buckets that I can make. So in the end, I'm paying about 86 cents per five gallon bucket. So price wise, Drexel beats them all out. You might pay a higher price in the end, but you're using far less of it to create your foam. So don't get scared away by the price because in the end, it's really your cheapest option for making foam. Now, I'll get back to why I spoke about this being food grade and obviously this being safe because you use it. It's because you have a big old warning label on here. So, uh, causes skin irritation, causes serious eye irritation, harmful swallow, and then you have a whole um, all this information about first aid and precautions and stuff. So you want to be careful if you're going to use a Drexel. Uh, obviously, you know, keep it away from kids and whatnot. Uh, obviously, it's for myself. I'm looking to build a home and um, use it for that type of uh, purpose. But if I were going to be making like a, a, plant, a plant bed or a raised flower bed or something or anything else, I, I'll most likely uh, would use these uh, safer options so that, you know, you don't, I wouldn't want to make a, a raised plant bed and then, you know, using the Drexel if it has all of these warning things on it. I'd rather keep it far away, but for construction, to build a structure, foundation, you can't beat the Drexel. I will be doing further testing with the sodium, uh, adding some other additives to get the aircrete to set quicker so that you don't need the very long lasting uh, bubbles that you get from the Drexel. Because with the Drexel, your foam, if you look at my past videos, will last for hours. And this is important with your aircrete because once you mix your foam in with the cement, you want your uh, bubbles to stay until your cement cures 
Um, otherwise, if your bubbles collapse, you won't have aircrete. You'll have regular cement. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, make this point to everyone that um, everyone's always talking about the Drexel being so much. Yeah, again, the initial cost is higher, but in your in the end, your cost per five gallon bucket is the lowest out of all your other options. And in my opinion, just completely stay away from the dish detergents uh, like the Dawn and Seventh Generation. I haven't tried. There is another Dawn. I think it's a, dr a 3X. I don't know if they add more uh, sodium laurel in there. But regardless, um, my best testing to date has been with the Schwab and the Drexel. Uh, the sodium also really good. But cost-wise, Drexel's got it all the way, everybody. So, anyway, that's it for now. This is Air Creed Harry. Peace out. I love you all. And I'll catch you later.